honey booze welcome back to my channel if you guys are new make sure you are subscribing and make sure you're commenting because I would love to have you in our honey bun fam so I'm actually really excited about this video the reason why I want to make this is because it was requested on my what's on my iPhone video so if you guys haven't watched that yet I'll put that in the i card because that was one of my favorite videos I've made so far on my channel one of the comments was asking if I can show you guys how I make my fun wallpaper or lock screen and it's a little bit different than what you normally will see when you look up how to make aesthetic wallpapers because normally you find things that look a lot like the Canva collages and I think those are so cute too I actually have one on my MacBook screen that looks like this that I can totally show you guys how I made that as well however today's video is specifically about the one that was on my lock screen when I filmed my what's on my iPhone so right here was the one that I first had on my phone when I filmed my what's on my iPhone but right now it looks like this and it, it's the same picture pretty much just with a glitter sparkle outline so I'm gonna go ahead and just basically show you guys how I got this look how I did it and the main app we are using today will be Pixar and then Pinterest and obviously your camera roll so you can get your own personalized pictures on your lock screen and it is aesthetic to the max Okay, so as we get started, the first thing I want you guys to do in order to start on your way to your aesthetic wallpaper is to consider exactly what you kind of want the vibe to be. Do you want it to be like a groovy girl aesthetic vibe? Do you want it to be early 2000s vibe? That's kind of like what I went with, as you guys can see with the butterflies and just the colors in general. So definitely think about what you want that to be first. And then you want to pick your personal pictures. So here's where we're going to start getting into how exactly I edit this so I knew upon making my wallpaper that I wanted it to be of me and my best friend Alexa I did make one where it also had my roommates in there but this one I wanted to be about me and my bestie so I went through specifically and was like okay so what picture do I want what pictures where we're wearing colors that will look good and this is what I came up with so once you find those pictures that's when you want to go into Pixar and this is the most tedious part of the tutorial so once you get into Pixar you're gonna want to make sure you're picking a picture that you want to do a cutout with so I'm gonna go ahead and go straight into the same pictures I used to show you guys how I cut out these photos okay so here's one of the pictures that is on my lock screen you're gonna want to hit that cut out little scissors on the Pixar app and then do outline and you just want to try to outline everything that you're gonna want in that picture as precise as possible because it's just gonna make it a little bit easier and then you're gonna go ahead and hit that arrow and what you're gonna see is that Pixar pretty much outlines it for you and then you have the option to go in with the restore erase tools to make sure that it has everything you want so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little restore right there and then I'm gonna make sure it's all good in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and erase right around Alexa's elbow and then I'm gonna restore more of my hair and then I'm gonna preview so obviously you can see it's not perfect yet so once you continue to work on that and you have it exactly the way you want it this is what you're going to get for the final outcome and then obviously this one's not perfect but I already have one made so I'm gonna show you guys now so once you're on the main screen again of the Canva app just make sure you have saved that sticker to your collection so then when you go to your profile it's not gonna show up on the main screen you're gonna want to hit this little bookmark and then collections so here I have all that I've made for thumbnails for my wallpapers everything in between make sure you have the ones that you want so I have the picture of me and Alexa I have another picture of me and Alexa and then I have another one so go ahead put that off to the side I like doing the cutouts first so you kind of know what you're working with and now you want to go into Pinterest and find your aesthetic background you can even make it just a plain background you can find your background on Pixar but I like finding my aesthetic background on Pinterest so I have a wallpaper board and just some random 
some pictures. I have more collages that I've saved and some of them I've even made. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this pink little heart vibe and just kind of change it up and use the same exact pictures that I did last time so I can just show you guys exactly how I did this. So once you're, you saved that picture and downloaded it from Pinterest, make sure you have it in your album or your camera roll. So what I really like to do just to 110% make sure that it is fit to your iPhone screen is go into photo grid and I go ahead and click that picture. I hit next and for ratio, I'm going to go ahead and pick device so that it is set for an iPhone. And go ahead and just take that logo off. You're gonna save that. Okay, so now we're gonna go into PixArt and you're gonna go ahead and just pick that device picture. You have it on there, nothing on it yet. And then you're gonna hit sticker. Then you're gonna hit collections and that's where you're gonna find all of your cutouts that you have made. So first, I always recommend doing your cutouts first before you add any of the fun emoji and just Pixar things you find. I think it looks so much better when you do that first. So I am actually going to add a border to this. So before I even place it where I want it, I'm gonna pick a cute pink. You can either do the one that's on there. They have so many colors to choose from. I could do a really cute purple, whatever I'm in the mood for, but I think I'm gonna just do the pink that's already on there. And now I am just going to size the picture to what I want it to look like. And you basically just move it around to wherever you'd like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the rest of the pictures and just kind to show you guys what that looks like okay so now that I have the two pictures on here and again sometimes I'll add more but sometimes I won't however just to show you guys what fun you could have with this pre-made stickers on Pixar I'm just gonna save it just like this so there's room so once you have everything laid out on the wallpaper that you want what I'm gonna do now is show you guys how I make that really cute glitter effect around the border so on the main menu of Pixar you're just gonna scroll across to the right and and click brushes this is where you have literally so many options to put any type of pattern whatever it may be but I'm gonna go ahead and scroll over to the silver glitter and then go ahead and click that and this is another tedious part but it is so worth it so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one and I am just going to outline this in glitter and I'm gonna go ahead and do it one by like one on each piece. It doesn't have to be perfect. So as you guys can see, I will just do it in pieces and I'll stop so I don't mess it up. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that one. So just so I know it's not getting messed up, I'm gonna apply that and then I'm gonna go back in with the glitter brush on the next one. And now we're gonna do the bottom picture. Okay, so now that I have that second one outlined in glitter, what I'm gonna do now is go back over here and click sticker. So once you are on the sticker option, you can literally look up anything. So you can search glitter hearts, which they have so many options for, which is where I got this similar one that you saw on my lock screen before so I could literally put that anywhere or you can look up heart aesthetic where you have more so many options guys like literally so many my favorite thing is to search butterfly and if you put aesthetic after it it will just automatically bring up some of the most popular that people use so I have so many options here and sometimes I even like to type in glitter butterfly. You can find ones like this and size it the way you want, whatever it may be. Okay, so here is what I've came up with so far. I just have a cute little heart that says bad bitty basically and then I just have some sparkly little butterflies and I just was searching aesthetic hearts, aesthetic text, aesthetic hearts with text, butterfly aesthetic, stuff like that. You kind of just have to play around with it and then you save it to your camera roll so make sure you don't forget to do that and then what I love to do for a little extra vibe is go into Visco. I'm going to click that and I'm going to add a little bit of edits to it so maybe I want it a little bit darker, maybe I want it a little bit brighter. I think I'm gonna just brighten it up barely. I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast to it, not a lot. 
And then maybe I want to sharpen it up so it just looks really good on the home screen. And then I'll play around with some fade, yes or no. I'm gonna go ahead with no on the fade. Maybe a little bit of grain, not because I don't want it to look like the quality's off. And honestly, that's probably all I will do to it. I'll save that to my camera roll now. Make sure I like what I did and I will put this all into one folder. So that's pretty much what I do for an aesthetic. Make sure you are saving the original by the way because then you can go back and add new stickers to it. But that is basically what I like to do to make aesthetic backgrounds. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make this my wallpaper, adjust it to whatever size I want. And I like how the hearts are just all over the place. It is so freaking cute. And then I'm just gonna set that as my lock screen. And as you guys can see, here is what my new lock screen looks like. I, I freaking love it. I think it is so cute and it just looks so aesthetic. It just really pops when you're looking at it and I think it's adorable. And you can literally do this whatever vibe you want. I've been in a very like pinky 2000s vibe-ish type of mood lately. So that's why I made it look like that. But you can literally make it any other type of vibe. So if you guys want to see a part two of this video please let me know I would love to do that for you guys I think doing this type of stuff is so much fun and it just makes your iPhone look so much better thank you for coming to my channel again honey buns I hope you are having an awesome week an awesome holiday break I love you guys and I will see you in my next video she's a Mona Lisa everyone's lining up to see her